Okay, this is a box from the paper mill, paper mill store, purchased online. And this order is not for me, but it's for a customer that's in Alaska for the paper mill. Only ships to probably via UPS or maybe FedEx or something like that. So the shipping to them is really expensive. And in Alaska, when you try to ship that way and you don't give them the option of shipping via um, flat rate uh, priority mailbox like I'm going to ship to them. So I'm just doing this as a favor for them, but I'm certainly happy to do that for people like that. Our fellow stampers out in these uh, kind of remote areas where uh, shipping can be really expensive if not given the option. But anyways, the thing that I've ordered for them is the thing that I recommend to uh, a lot of people that are looking into glossy cardstock. And this is by CTI, and I wasn't really aware of the, the paper mill store being affiliated with uh, CTI. I thought it was just a, uh, the paper mill store was just a retailer that carried a lot of different brands, but maybe this is the, uh, the retail outlet for CTI uh, USA, at least, um, because it's right on the, uh, you know, the, uh, the packaging here. So, Chrome Coat with a K, R-O-M-E-K-O-T-E, -E, uh, as far as the, uh, the name convention, spelling convention of this uh, paper right here. It's coated uh, glossy cardstock. This is the uh, um, the configuration of it, okay? C1S uh, means that it's um, single-sided glossy. If it said C2S, that would mean that it's glossy on both sides. For our purposes in landscape stamping, and I just say card making in general, I, I tend to think that the, the single-sided is really good for that. Uh, most people kind of mat their uh, pieces that they're doing, be it scenes or just cards in general, onto, you know, colored uh, cards, uh, card stocks for uh, matting purposes and whatnot. So having things kind of glossy on both sides maybe isn't you know, too necessary. I, I guess there's certain types of applications for that that would be uh, nice, but double-sided glossy is quite a bit more expensive uh, per ream than uh, single-sided glossy, so um, I don't know. I tend to recommend the C1S, uh, and as far as the thickness goes, this is a 12-point uh, thickness cover, um, and the thicknesses come in different point sizes. There's like a eight point, a 10 point, 12 point. You don't really see like 14. Maybe that's a special order type of thing. But for card making purposes, it usually comes down to 10 or 12 point. My preference is to go for just the 12 point. The difference between a 10 point and a 12 point is really not too much. When it comes to a ream of this, it might be four or five dollars more. And when you divide that up between a ream of it, which is 200 sheets, four or five dollars more spread out over that many sheets. And this size of this is um, letter size, eight and a half by 11 inches. So when you're talking about, you know, doing cards, you know, we're typically working in, you know, a uh, quarter page sizes, so four or five dollars over the course of four times 200 of these, 800 sheets, it's really not too much difference. These are 10 point right here, and they tend to bow a little bit. Now, I would mat these down if I'm going to format them in the card, okay? And you can easily get rid of that little bit of a bowing type effect by doing a counter bend like that. But if you don't have to do that, it's kind of nicer. And, you know, the difference between, this is 10 point again, the difference between 10 and 12 point too, it's just that 12 point is just thicker, and it feels like more like a, like a chip or a card. It's, it's stiffer, so. You know, I bought that though before, uh, you know, when uh, King James, that brand, was going out of business. But, um, you know, 12 point would be much more preferable uh, for me um, than uh, the 10 point. So, um, 12 point is recommended. So, again, this one's the Chrome Coat C1S White 12 point cover and the 8.5 by 11. 
uh, ream at 200 sheets. 200 sheets is a good way to go. I think people are less kind of conservative about, you know, doing their uh, kind of test compositions and things like that. When doing something on a ream of paper like this, it's pretty much going to last you a lifetime, if, even if you use a lot of it like I do. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's just, you know, divided up over that amount of time. It's just, it's just nice to be able to work on some really good paper uh, when you're um, just doing your preliminaries or something like that. And a lot of times if you're doing um, your kind of your test compositions on a really good paper like this, inevitably, which works for me too, sometimes I'm just doing what I call stamp sketches. A lot of those stamp sketches, you know, uh, end up being kind of final pieces. So, but if I did them on just, you know, regular, you know, just kind of copy paper, they're, you know, they'd, they'd be, you know, destined for the trash, and I would just have to redo that composition that I kind of liked uh, as far as a preliminary stamp sketch went, um, and I would have to redo it on, you know, nice paper. So if I just did it on the nice paper to begin with, and, you know, when buying by the ream, it's really not too expensive. Well, it is, you know, this, this customer is in Alaska, and if they had to pay like the $50 in shipping to get it there, then it would be expensive. But if it's shipping, uh, you know, in a flat rate uh, um, uh, box like this via priority mail, you know, it's just that flat rate. Uh, at this point in time, it's thirteen sixty-five. Prices are always going up in time, but I still find priority mail to be a pretty good um, option, especially for places like uh, you know Hawaii and Alaska, or if you're in Guam or something like that, and you're you know mailing from the uh, you know the contiguous forty-eight or something like that. It's a really good deal. But I don't know. The paper mill store doesn't do that at this time. I'm gonna drop them a note and see if they'll do that at some point in time because I do recommend. Uh, Paper Mill store and picking up a chrome coat uh, from uh, them when they don't have kind of a local source uh, to buy it from. So, anyway, it's a good way to go, something to look into.